Today on The Joy of Editing, we're looking at the Bleach Bypass Filter in Nick 8 Color. Effects a classic cinematic look with high contrast and muted color. It's perfect for dramatic landscapes, urban scenes, and moody portraits when you want grit and punch. Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. Today, we're continuing our journey through all of the filters and Nick 8 color effects one by one. Today's focus is the Bleach Bypass Filter, a classic film effect that delivers dramatic contrast, muted color, and that cinematic, gritty style photographers love for portraits, landscapes, and urban scenes. Now, I got to be honest, this is a filter I've never really used, maybe never in color effects, but it is really a great filter, as you'll see here shortly. So this is something I will definitely be using in the future. So let's check it out. By the way, if you're enjoying these videos, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. I'd love to hear from you. And when you do those things, this helps to grow my channel, so I really appreciate it. This is a simple filter to use, but it's very effective. Let me turn it on. These are the default settings you're seeing right here. I like to start at the top and work my way down. We have brightness so we can lighten it up or darken it down. I think I'll just darken it up just a little wee bit. And then we have saturation for the bleach bypass look. It's a lower saturated image, so we could give it more saturation or less. And I think I'll take the saturation to right here, like minus 40%. And now we have contrast. This is just basic contrast. Now the bleach bypass look is a very contrasty look. So we could give it more contrast, less. And I think I'll give it about that much, like 43%. Now local contrast, this brings out the grit. If I move this to the right, you can see how gritty it's getting. So add as much or as little as you want. And for me, I think I'm going to go to right there, 70%. Now I take that back. I'm going to pull that back to like 60%. I think that looks better. And then we have shadow and highlight protection. I want to protect my shadows a bit. So I'm going to take this over to right there, 33%. So I don't really crush the shadows too hard. I want a lot of contrast, but I don't want to overdo and I do want to protect my highlights, so I'll drag the highlight slider over to right about there. 70% looks good. Now we have opacity. A lot of times what I like to do is pull this back a little bit and maybe let some of the original image show through. And I think I'm going to take it to right there, 80%. Now let me shut off Bleach Bypass. Here's before and here's after. So pretty cool. I really like the way this turned out. Now let's try it on this seascape image. Now for a stormy looking scene, the bleach bypass filter can really help. I'll go ahead and check on bleach bypass. Already it's looking pretty stormy, isn't it? But that's way overboard. What I want to do is maybe darken it up a little wee bit, maybe over to right here. And now saturation, this is at 50%. You know, we could give it more, we could give it less, but you know what? I think I like 50% for this one. And now contrast. I think I want to reduce the contrast a bit over to maybe right there, 43%. And now local contrast. Do I want more? No, I think I want less. I want to back that off to somewhere maybe, I don't know, maybe right about here. And now let's protect our shadows. Let's go over to, let's say right about here. And now let's protect those highlights. And I'll take that over to right there. And now let's pull back on the opacity a bit. Let's let some of that original image show through. And again, I think for this one, I want about 80%. Now let's shut off bleach bypass. Here's before and here's after. Yeah, there's a lot more drama in this image. I really like it. So try it on some stormy type landscape images. I think you might be happy with the results you'll get. Let's try it on a portrait. Now I chose a woman because the face is going to be an issue. So I'll show you how we can get around that. For a man, a little bit of grit in the face can look pretty cool. I'll go ahead and check on the filter. Wow. I really like what's happening here. Now, it's not adjusted yet, but we got to take care of the face issue. That's going to look bad. I don't think this woman would be happy with her face looking like this. What I'll do is use two negative control points. So I'll click this button right here to get a control point. Now hold down your option key and get a negative control point and click. And what I'll do is reshape this point a little bit. I'm going to pull this down. I want to keep it off her hair because I think it's going to look cool in the hair. Let me just widen it out just a little bit. I think right there. Now here's a little trick. 
because right at this point, it's looking at luminance and chrominance. But here's a little trick. If you take luminance the whole way to the left and chrominance the whole way to the left, you will basically be blocking out this entire area. Let me turn on the mask so you can see it. You see what we're doing right here? We are totally keeping it out of this facial area. And I like the way it's feathering off. Let me look at the image by clicking this button again. And now what I want to do is hold my Option or Alt key down, click and drag down here. And I want to put another one here. I'll reshape this a little bit. Maybe pull this down to here. We can, we can adjust the angle of it like that. And I think that might be pretty good. Maybe I'll just pull this down like that. I think right there. See, now it's off the face. But like I said, the real trick is taking this luminance and chrominance and dragging it the whole way to the left especially when you want to get a whole area. And now let's do some fine tuning. I want to take the brightness. I just want to darken it up just a little wee bit to right there. I think I like the saturation where it's at, but you could give it more or less, whatever you think you need, but I'm going to leave it at 50%. You could just double click this. It'll go back to minus 50%. Now, do we want more contrast or less contrast? I think a little bit less, not too much. I think I'm going to take this to right there, 50%. And now let's work with the local contrast. Do we want more, make it really gritty? And I don't think so. I think I'll take this to right there, 40%. And now let's protect our shadows. I'm going to drag the shadow protection slider to the right over to, I think right there, 44. And now the highlights, let's protect the highlights. I don't need much here. I'm just going to take it over to about right here. And now, do I want to lower the opacity? We can give it less or more. You know, I think I'll leave it at 100%. Now, let me shut off this filter. Here's before and here is after. Again, before and after. I really like it. I like what it's done with her hair, the background, and that desaturated look in the clothes looks really nice. I really like the way this turned out. Try it on a guy portrait. Sometimes that little bit of grit in the face can look really cool. Well, there it is, everyone. That was the bleach bypass filter found in Nick 8 Color Effects. If you enjoyed today's tutorial, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe. Click the bell notification icon. Click all so that you receive all notifications. And then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll get notified about it. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. And I will see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.